Hey, what's up you guys? Back here with another action figure review for you again. Ladies and gents, boys and girls, Eric AFG proudly presents Batman Incorporated. <laughs> I'm just fooling. Nah, but um, I'm totally excited for this figure. Like I said, Batman is my weakness. He's the one figure I just can't stop collecting. I've him, Spider Man, and Superman. But y'all already know my deal with uh, Superman. Once again, that video is uh, down in the description below. So check that out. Um, my new uh, classic and modern 52 Superman, which is my permanent and definitive Superman. I don't think I'm ever going to collect anymore because he's just my perfect Superman. But it's not about Superman. This is about the Dark Knight himself, Batman. So right off the bat, he doesn't come with any accessories, I think, for a set of display stand. But as you can see, the sculpting on him is pretty interesting. I can't wait to get him out of the package. And I've seen other people review this figure. This is the first time I'm going to review him. Um, got him off eBay, of course. Y'all know me. Um, but I like the sculpting from what I'm seeing behind this box so far. It's, it, he looks like an older, uh, grittier Batman. And I know I've said that before with other past figures. But I think this one displays that perfectly. So... Got the rest of the box there. You, you got the Wayne Enterprises. I didn't really care for the Batman Incorporated storyline, except for the storyline where Talia came to get, uh, excuse me, to get revenge um, on Bruce. Um, you know, a uh, Batman um, on Gotham City, and in the midst of her terrorizing uh, Gotham, um, Damian Wayne died. So that was a good Batman Incorporated story but the other stories I felt were weak so I'm not getting these other two figures I'm just saying that right off the back but these are the other two figures that's available in the line yeah you got that back there you got the Arkham figures um the only Arkham figure I have is Joker I probably want Harley Quinn the Bane Arkham figure I kind of want that Poison Ivy I already have um but uh yeah so let's get batman out of the packaging this is like my umpteenth batman figure and i'm still gonna collect more obviously so stay tuned guys and here we are getting a look at batman incorporated i put him on a display stand i kind of had a little trouble standing him um so out of packaging um, I say his face sculpt looks pretty good. I'm still digging it. Now, I have had a lot, of course, I've had like a trillion Batman figures over the years. I mean that metaphorically, of course. Uh, so let's get a look, um, more detail of the Batman here. So, you know, you, you got the cape, got the, you know, classic stylized Batman cape. I like the fold in it. I like the design. I like that. I like the style of his cape. You see the detail in his gloves, his belt. I like his belt too. Yeah, I like his bat belt, the gauntlet in his gloves, the detail, the wrinkles in his pants, the veins. Mm -hmm. You know, like you could literally see the veins. I like the detail of his boots. I'm feeling that. No bat symbol at the bottom of his boots. Uh, I wish they would add that more, but they don't. So that's um the figure so far. He's standing crookedly because I have him on the display stand. Yeah, I kept trying to get this guy to stand without the uh, display stand. So if he looks a little crooked... I apologize, but yeah, I was trying to get him to stand with the display stand. So, um, my thoughts on my thoughts on the figure so far, um, I like it. I like him. Um, it's a good representation of Batman. Is it my favorite Batman figure? No, but um, I'm overall satisfied with the sculpt of him. The sculpt of his uh, bat symbol there is a separate piece. I like that. Um, I do like the mold and the sculpting in his face and his um, mask. I do like that as well. Um, I like the scowling look on his face because that's how Batman should always look. 
Batman like basically never smiles. So this is how Batman should definitely look. Um, I like the sculpting on his cape. I like the wrinkles in his cape. I like his belt. Um, yeah, like overall, I'm very satisfied with this Batman figure. It feels strange to me because like <laughs> if you look at him, if it, it almost feels like he should be a seven inch figure, but he's not. He's a six inch figure, which is not wrong with that. But I, I'm so used to six, six inch figures being less um, big and broad. And he kind of is. This Batman is definitely bigger and broader. Um, which is nothing wrong with that. Not at all. Not at all. So, um, yeah, so far I think that this Batman is a very good and decent representation. Um, you also have the classic Batman emblem on his chest there. So, you know, that's what's up. I'm feeling that. And I do like the symbol of his belt. I do. I like that. So, um, articulation on this figure is pretty standard, you know, for DC direct figures. Um, he has um, a bend in the arm, a twist in uh, the upper arm area. Uh, he has uh, swivels in the wrist, uh, a twist um, in the wrist. Um, no... Um, no um, ab crunch anything, you know, or no turn or swivel in the waist area. Uh, bend at the knees. Um, and he does have a full 360 in his feet. So that's what you're going to get with this figure with articulation, basically. So I thought I'd do a standby uh, comparison. Um, Batman standing next to um, the DC Direct Unmasked um, Secret Files Superman. So that Superman is 7 inches. So even though my Batman is standing weird because of the display stand, I want him to stand normal. But I don't know. For some reason, I can't get mine to stand normally. But anyway, um, so that's him standing next to Superman. Let's get some other standby comparison. Here's a standby comparison. Him standing next to of uh, the incorporated uh, Damian Wayne Robin and him standing next to Damian Wayne and him standing next to some of his rogues here Hush and Penguin and finally him standing next to Tim Drake Robin that's a pretty good scale right there yeah so overall once again I say I'm pretty happy with this figure uh, great detail, great sculpting. Um, I mean, it's freaking Batman. So, you know, of course, this is an awesome figure. Definitely worth a pickup. Um, look on eBay. He's becoming harder and harder to find. Some of the prices are ridiculous, $50 to 100 But sometimes some sellers, you know, if you keep, a, keep an eye on them, you'll be able to snag them up. So this was the review of Batman Incorporated DC Direct. So next time, guys. See ya. I'm Batman. <laughs>